Thanks for staying with us. Yes, I, I, I find what you talked about earlier very commendable, but what I am referring to is courtism. Yeah. You know, and the worrisome thing is that you are, they arrest, make arrests in the morning and you see the boys in the evening strolling around. What exactly can be done to ensure that we take this menace off the streets so that people can walk freely again? Yeah, like I said, revolutionary tactics are not discussed in public, but I can tell you that... This is not a matter of what you... The issue of headsmen and all of that coming in the bush, those are revolutionary. What you need to do with courtism is, you know, um, prosecution, conviction, and mindset changing. We can't have every 20% of our youth in their dough thinking. It's even a joke. You know, there are skits. Ah, you, you born courtes, you born... Uh, you born you know, yeah, those... Who? I just don't want to, you know... Those negatives are popularized. What exactly... You know, I'm driving yeah. towards... A, a goal. Every environment has its peculiar uh, setting. Every environment, every state has its peculiar setting. Advice. What is good for the other side may not be the same method that is good for your state. And that's why I'm, I, I don't want to disclose too much. Yeah. In the, I don't want to disclose too much. To deal with cultism is something we can handle. We can handle it. I've made some suggestions before. We can handle it. And uh, when this thing was coming up, some of the suggestions I gave, the CP then worked with it and were able to bring it down. Now we need to just improve on it and consistent monitoring. We know the, they have records of the, the heads of various courtes group. They have all of them. And so, so in line have with faces. what I, they, 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 are, they are faces, they are faces. Okay, me, so me, you can deal with it. Mm. Really. Okay, because of time, let me just try because we have a lot of questions I want to ask you. Um, you said something earlier that being a, a politician, experienced politician, and uh, you rather lead from the front and not from the laptops and stuff like that. <laughs> but there's a school of thought that believes that for you to really make substantial progress in states, you need to create jobs. Yeah. Creating jobs is not just doing the um, the political, uh, the political governance, no, no, no. you know, it's more of attracting investors. Yeah. Uh, how, what, how do we do to build an economy, which it seems to some people, school of thought, that Obaseki has been able to, to attract mm. foreign interest into that state. Um, so many will believe that a technocrat being a governor, and maybe a politician being a deputy governor, is always a better... Um, combination yeah. to drive yeah. a state. So maybe it could be that could be one of the reasons why Obasiko believes that, listen, I need a technocrat who is going to create jobs, who can actually continue the work I'm doing, not another politician that will be focusing on, okay, I'll talk to the others here, I'll to just, you know, get everybody happy and, you know, could that, could that be a reason or do you, do you believe in that combination? Yeah, yeah, that's why I say that every state has its peculiarity. Edo will not welcome any technocrats. Now, maybe in the future, yes, but I don't know where come any technocrat now, and because of what they see now, that is the truth. I, I will say it the way it is. You can throw me away, but my my you can't throw my but my, my words it remains. That is the truth. And why is that? Even in the name of technocrat, I will not pride myself as a technocrat. I have had both political. I mean, public and private experience. What I see now, in quote, uh, private sector is governed by regulation, while public sector is governed by laws. And they come with that mindset of private sector, and they forget the law. For instance, today, we have Subeb. We don't have a board. We only have one lady. We only have one lady that is yeah. chairman and was not cleared by the house. Imagine that. That's an aberration. Mm. Because as a private sector, you can do that. It's your company. You can decide to fire and hire. In public sector, you can't fire and hire. There's procedures. So when you come with the mindset... Well, some will argue that that's the problem with Nigeria. Because we, want, we focus so much on the, on the bureaucracy. bureaucracy. <laughs> Although this is how, this is how it's done. Because somebody's trying to... The, the, the solution... I'll come to you, sir. The solution is every child must be educated. Learning must take place. That's my solution. How to get there is get in those technocrats to do the job. Because so all the bureaucratic processing is how it's done. Those are political considerations that Nigerians really don't want to don't need. Don't need. Let me tell you, I handle sports in a do state. I handle sports in a do state, and the bureaucracy of government 
you cannot run sport with bureaucracy of government. When I got there, I discovered that uh, the, the problem of sport was government bureaucracy. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and the governor has said, we want to make Edo a sporting hub, and you have experience, go and do it. So it's my lot now to find a way out of this bureaucracy and see, make sure I maintain standard. Okay. And what did I do? I reorganized the financing. I reorganized the system. So from my office to the list person, if I need anything approved, same day or within 24 hours, the people that need the fund, we get the fund. So bureaucracy is how the head decides to make it efficient, that it will be efficient. Yeah. So bureaucracy of government is meant to create a system where there's accountability mm -hmm. and Let's there's no fraud. And that's why in, in private sector, you can cut the chain in your transaction. In public sector, no matter you attempt to cut chain, the system still have you the records. You are the executive. Why is the House of Assembly of Edo State not talking about this? In Lagos recently, when the elections were done, and the governor sent his list for his cabinet, the speaker stood his ground and said, it must be done this way. Why didn't the House of Assembly or the speaker take a stand about this? Yeah, every house has its own system Peculiar. and peculiarity. When I was in the State House of Assembly, we have engaged the then governor, both Osumbo and uh, Governor uh, uh, Oshomole. And we have said no to this, no to that. And we come, we discuss, and some of those things we say no to, the see reason why we say no. Uh, so if this house decides that everything that the executive break goes, is their own system. That's what they've They're adopted. They're acting like a rubber stamp. I don't know, but that's what they have uh, decided. <laughs> so I don't want to yeah. speak about them. Yeah. I think the speaker will be better to answer that question because okay. for me, I can speak about our own assembly, how mm -hmm. effective and efficient that assembly was. And sometimes the, the comrade even commended us for insisting. Because some of this thing is to make the system work. It's not, it don't, it's not just rubber stamp anything that comes. Mm -hmm. you, must, you must be able to engage. Uh, through that engagement, even the person saying you should do certain things will not see a reason why you should not even do it. And I'm from the school of thought, uh, from my activist background, from two of where uh, issues are discussed, superior ones have their way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, sir, um, let's go back a bit. You know, um, we, you talked earlier about having to disagree with Oshomole just to um, be on, you know, in this government with Obaseke and, and support him. What were the qualities you saw in him that made you want to be part or agreed, because you said you were um, persuaded, agreed to be part of his government? Yeah, one of the things um, you must give to the governor uh, that we must give to him was his ability to reorganize the finances to the extent that we can pay salary as and when due. It was part of the thing Oshomole told us that when we bring him, he will be able... Oshomole saw a recession coming, and I said he needed an economist. That was one of the things he used in convincing us. He didn't bully us. He didn't intimidate us. He didn't stop any salary or anything. He had a conversation with us. He, we had more than 10, 15 conversations before we now agree to support Obaseki. And one of the things he said was that he will want somebody that will be... A, prudent in management of resources and be able to bring capital in. And, we, and one thing he said that he wants somebody that can sustain civil service salary without defaulting. So he was able to do that. Till today, he has been able to do that. Uh, you understand? So that's one of them. The other one was uh, our effort to, to, to deal with the issue of basic education. Oshomole builds build infrastructure, red roof everywhere, but the content, we brought the content in this one. So, so there, then uh, we reorganized the, 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 one of the major problems we also had with Comrade was we organized the tax system. We came to Lagos to study, under study Lagos. And when I was asked to handle that, I also went on one or two training to be, to be, to brush myself on management of that, digitalizing the system. We were able to also take the area voice and start remove their toga of area boys and wear them suits and re 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 reorganize and restructure our our internally generated revenue where we have raised we are not talking about 60 to to to, to 70 billion in a year in a budget you touched on so, so so those are some of the things that and also one thing that is dear to me was health uh health i've always 
I always, each time I go to UBTH or Euro Specialist we have a health foundation, and I see the crowd that I see there, I feel no. Uh, tertiary institution, health institution should not be the first point of call. We should be dealing health. with primary, primary health. Yeah. And by uh, WHO standard, three kilometers to every neighborhood to your house, there should be a health center. That should be the first point right. of call. And, and I saw the governor also thinking in that direction. Yeah. So, so those are some of the qualities, and those are some of Talk the areas I'm going to deal with and improve. Talk about improve basic education, it. because I know that Edo, Edo was one of the places that even us in Lagos State studied to see how you're doing. Yeah. What's the success of Edo Best? Do you think it's something you're going to continue or stop? No, no, no. I will continue with Edo Best with uh, practicalizing almost everything that we have done. There are some hiccups, which definitely will, but continue to Edo Best. I'll take it to the next level. We'll, I'll take it to the secondary school. We are, we are actually dealing with a primary and GSS. That's where we are now. But taking the secondary, because we still have a lot of gaps in, the sec in senior secondary school, yeah. teachers and all those things. So I'm going to take, we have Adobe Best 1.0. I'm taking it to 2.0 by including the senior secondary school. Okay. So it's a project that okay. we'll continue, but we'll do with some little adjustment. But it's oh. a program that must continue. Okay. Uh, with the fallout of things now, do you sit down and regret ever disagreeing with Oshomole on Obasaki's account? Yeah, Oshomole, people have asked me, I, do, I, I regret because uh, the governor I supported is now fighting me. I said no. You know, the only thing, and I've apologized, I must say apologizing to Comrade Adnan Soli Oshomole. I regret when I listen to the language. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say I don't want to repeat okay. the same, same thing. Mistakes. The language, I regret those language, but in terms of the principle to support Obaseke, if I still have the opportunity, I'll support Obaseke. Because at that time, that was the right thing to do. Hmm. It's the language. It's not because Obaseke is doing what he's doing now, I will not deny him. No, 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 no. I will support Obaseke again if that scenario plays. But what I will amend is the language. And I apologize again to Comrade Adams so on the language. On this because who is the vengeful one? If you said that, he, you know, Comrade Adams Oshomole did the red roofs, he did this, he did that, he did open my race. That, for me, is very offensive to have stopped. Because he opened a door to the world. It was a race internationally recognized. People were coming in for it. For whatever reason, could you have stopped such a thing? Open when, race? Yes. Still on. It's not, it's, it's not being heard. No, it's still on. Where, 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 how? When? No, no, it's still on. The last edition to, uh, held. The only time we didn't have up a race was during COVID. 2020. 2020. But it's still been on. We didn't hear about it. Uh, it's maybe, not promoted as usual. Uh, maybe. Lagos is still doing the marathon. And okay. it's still popular. No, maybe because I was not in the last race. For family issues, uh, that's why I was the right It's still on. It's still on. It's still on. It's still on. No, it's still on. It's still on. It's not cancelled. It's still on. Okay. Only in 2020. Because... Only in 2020 no, that we didn't yeah. have it. Didn't yeah, no, late 2020. That's what I'm telling you. Maybe because, uh, you have to allow the maybe because you have to allow Maybe because I was not there. Yeah. Yeah. So you give celebrities. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. Okay. We have to wrap. We have just a few minutes to close. Yeah. 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 Well, go ahead, man. Yeah, so the governor himself was yeah. in the papers um, some months back. I had to do the roads in Benin. And he said something that, you know, got Nigerians wondering when he said that it, it looked like the federal government was not listening to his request to repair those roads. Please tell us what happened there. I think I, I, I don't want to join the blame game. When we are contesting for position, we can be talking party, party, party. But immediately we are sworn in, forget party. It's do the work. It should not do the work. And you must collaborate with whoever you, you need, as governor of Edo State, by the grace of God, in, uh, after being sworn in 2020, this year, yeah, uh, uh, November 12th, I, if it meant to go to the President Baba and lie, lie down, down before him, okay. I will lie down with, for him to tell the Minister of uh, Works. Works, go and deal with my son's state and make sure he's, he, 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 the roads and whatever he needs, give to him. As the president is making that pronouncement, um, uh, in sex we see August visitor in January, in March, and everything. I have done it before. 
I got the chief of army staff, I got the IG, I got chief of air staff to send their sophisticated uh, equipment to a do state, and I was used to I, I, I was able to clear S men. Why did you apply it in this in this case? You I'm not the deputy governor. Go you're the deputy governor. I can only suggest. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let me ask you this question. <laughs> this this, this yeah. intention is not on you. Yeah. What if February comes, the primaries take place, and you lose out? Mm. What happens? I, I don't lose, I win. So the losing is not losing is not in my. You don't know. Book. Politicians don't know. remember. No. I remember doing the presidential I, I, campaign. A lot of all, all no. of all, the, all, the, all of them no. said they're going to win. No, no, no. And somebody me, went let home. Let me tell you, if my party wants to win an election in Edo, they need Philip Shaibu to be the candidate. candidate. If they want to lose, give it to somebody else. That is the truth. I am not saying it because I feel I'm a superstar. No, 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 no. I have the content. I have the quality, I have the more experience. I can bet you, as we speak now, I have a group of persons that have already worked out rain, rain, station, uh, rain uh, line mm. in Benin, and I call it Oredo Opela train station. And, and as we speak, from Oredo, it stops at Umode. Mm. From uh, Oredo, it goes straight to Okada. From Oredo, it goes straight to Opela. I call it Oredo Opela. From all on there, it joins the line going to worry. So you have investors ah, waiting. Ah, no, we are working on the program. Now the document is out. Now I'm not checking financing. What, how will it finance? Which one is the first phase, second phase? I discovered that the beneath metro uh, uh, line, which I'll call uh, 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 orange line, <laughs> will take three and a half years to build. Okay. Why the Ogoredo? Opila will take seven years to build. I'm already working on where... Let me, let me, let me jump in here for a second, because you said something that struck me, and I know, I know that you're a politician. Yeah. And I, I kept thinking in my head, you said that we went concerning the roads, yeah. if you even have to go to the president and lay down flat. Yes. And that, for me, it's is a problem. problem. Mm -hmm. It's one of the issues Nigerians yeah. I have, especially yeah. younger people, yeah. saying... We don't want to have to double letter to anybody yeah. to get things done. Yeah. Um, the fact that your, your principal, for example, was able to get $70 million, I believe, from, yeah. from Z, World, one of these international yeah. organizations yeah. for basic education, yeah. is because he has put in work. Mm. And even if he doesn't have to go and double letter to anybody to give him money for basic education in the state, international organizations are giving him money because they've seen the work. So what Nigerians are asking for is, is governors at a level where I don't need to double it to anybody. People are coming and saying, Edo is a hub for me to build, and private sector companies are calling you, different companies are saying, Thank let you. us put money together to build roads. We don't have to double it to anybody. So no. that's part of what Nigerians are saying. No. Yeah. We don't want that kind of governance anymore, don't let, you think? Let me tell you, when you are hostile, when you are hostile to a federal system, there's no way mm. that you can operate. Yeah. So I will not be hostile. That is the point okay, I'm making. That's the point. Okay. I will not be hostile to any federal. I don't need to use state resources to, to go and red signboard that this is federal road. I don't need to do that. That money can do something else. That's the point I'm making. Yes. And in terms of bringing private sector, all this private sector, I think we'll have another day to really discuss what private sector is supposed to bring in and what governments will bring in. Mm. I will not be a governor that in the name of private sector use government resources to build project necessary is supposed to be funded by private sector. Yeah. Because when I'm saying I'm bringing money in, the money should come from private sector. My equity should be, if you need the land, yeah, I, I, give, I, I have it. I give you, that's conducive my equity. Environment for them yes, conducive environment, yeah. building a, a major infrastructure like road and water and sewage and the land, that is my equity. My equity should not be Taking go loan, using so, government, so, yeah. uh, you taking loan to build private. Yeah. No, 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 I won't do that. That's mm -hmm. not the kind of private sector I'll be bringing in. I also wanted to add a bit to you know, your analogy of if you needed, you needed to lie down, which I see as uh, you being humble enough to go for so what you want. Put in here, exactly. If you need to slate the meetings, go there. If you need to wait at the door till you're attended to, okay. you get it. And we yes. remember. The six of us, we mm -hmm. yeah. Hold on, hold no. on. We remember. They, I should like to give us an analogy of how he did something like this and following due process no hold on now he he had to make some calls that on a normal day you'll be waiting till papers are filed oh till what if you're a governor from soko don't no, have access you no, call the PA no, no, you don't have access as a governor as a governor as a governor vice president as governor we're still assuming that those things were not done when Boko Haram was at the height of it in his he went to the opposition even in World Bank you are talking about you need to convince them if you don't convince them they won't even give you money 
You have to Press convince them. Traveling. Yes, sir. So you need to convince. So, we, so are, we, are we hub. saying that it's not a, a good hub in terms of transportation? Mm. I do is a hub in terms of uh, 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 growing the GDP of Nigeria, mm. and that is a selling point for Edo, mm -hmm. for federal government, and for for other uh, investors, other uh, multinationals, and the rest. Another thing that we also make mistake as a state, and that's why I say I'm bringing experience on board. The experience is that I've also observed that. The local government, states are not doing the work of local government. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to strengthen the local government and I'm going to, I'm going to eradicate and, and, and yeah, cancel yeah. So the office would... of, I mean, the, the, yeah. the office, the commissioner for local government and first. first. No, 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 it will not exist under my, mm -hmm. under my watch. Right. Because there's no Ministry of State Affairs in, uh, in Abuja, so why would I be? Mm. Is, so the local government need to be strengthened to do trunk C roads, mm. not stay in trunk C roads. Finally, yes. <laughs> have, you have, picked, you have, have, have you picked a deputy yeah. governor in Prospect? In the is it, is it, no, wait, is he a technocrat person you're looking to or a more political person like you? I am taking, the, I'm taking government back to the people practical government, the party will play its role. It is the party that will decide that because it's key. Mm, I'm going to. to be contested on that political party yes, and our leadership, take and that leadership will take charge. Thank you, <laughs> well so, Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Mr. Shebu, he is the Deputy Governor of the State. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. today. Thank I you. wish you the best February. Uh -huh. And maybe after that, we'll now come. If you win, We'll bring you back when again. When I win, not if. Okay, when, when, when I win. When you win, we'll bring you back again for a conversation to see your plans. So thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Or as candidates. As candidates. Okay, you first as candidate, then the next to governor. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You so it's a pleasure having you. Thank you. Yeah. It's That's good to all see. we can take on today's show. It's Happy New Year to you. Enjoy, eat, feast. Tomorrow, Tomorrow work, work starts. <laughs> work starts. Have a lovely day. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, guys. Good.